Welcome back to Vampire. It's a couple days after we killed our own sister, again, <laughs> Mary, after that fight at the cemetery. First time we've been able to control our character since then, so some things have changed. It's time to renew our efforts to stop the, the plague taking over the city and find out what's changed. First thing I want to do is study the blood sample that I got from Mary. Rich blood sample. Ah, gives me the next tier of blood serum. Okay, which I definitely need to make more of because I use up like pretty much all of them. Also out of curiosity, let's see how all the different districts are doing. So, Pembroke Hospital is doing a bit better. I think it was critical or serious before. Now it's up to stable, 84%. We have just one person that needs some medicine. Mortimer Goswick needs medicine for fatigue. Uh, Whitechapel is doing pretty well, 83%. A lot of sick people though, I need to give them some medicine. West End. Wait, I haven't... I haven't been here, right? Because, like, everybody's unknown. Well, they're apparently dead. Wait. Oh, that's our mother. Right, because Mary killed them. Oh. Oh, that's bad. The docks. Wow. How do I turn that place around? Can I turn that place around? Because remember, I left them with having cured everybody as much as I can and done all quests. There's nothing more I could do to help them. And yet, they've gone down from 50 to 42%. They're just fucked. Damn. Well, I'm still going to give them some medicine, see if I can help them out anyway. Let's read this letter. Lady Ashbury's Invitation. Dear Dr. Reed, I hope this letter will quickly find you, for I need to speak to you as soon as possible. The situation is evolving very quickly in the West End, and I'm convinced we are all now in great danger. The Guard of Pruin has launched a great hunt in London, and for a few nights they've been actively searching and killing any Ekon they can locate. locate. Lord Redgrave, chairman of the Ascalon Club, recently contacted me. He wishes to meet you immediately. Please come to my mansion any night that suits you. We must discuss all of this. With this letter, you will find an official pass that will allow you to go through any barricade or quarantine checkpoint throughout the city. Of course Lady Ashbury has a mansion. Where is the West End exactly? Oh, this whole area? Oh, this is probably the mansion here, right? Looks like a whole, like, courtyard and a lawn and a pool. Wait, this is it? Okay, I don't know what this is then. Hmm, we've actually been to a significant part of the map, haven't we? At this point. Yeah, actually, at this point we've been everywhere except the West End. And I guess sort of this area? I have received an alarming letter from Lady Ashbury. She wants me to meet her at her house. I have been granted safe passage. Then you are twice fortunate. I have never been invited to the lady's mansion. And with the quarantine and controls, city access is nigh impossible. Why have you never entered the lady's house? You are one of her good friends, are you not? My dear Jonathan, you have no idea how reclusive the good lady normally is. Nor in what great esteem she must hold you to let you into her domain. Is the quarantine serving any purpose? It is helping slow the propagation of the epidemic. But as long as we have no clue to its origin, its efficiency is limited. What news do you bring? The news is not good, my friend. We try to keep the epidemic at bay, but street violence is escalating quickly. Tell me more about the violence. Geoffrey McCallum seems to have sent his war dogs on a hunt. On a nightly basis, Prewen patrols exterminate every skull and vampire they find. Have they come closer to the hospital? No. They mainly focus on fallen districts or abandoned buildings. But they're growing in numbers. They must be recruiting heavily. How bad is the epidemic? It is killing the infected patients faster. In less than two days now. The only blessing is that they are contagious for a shorter period. Less than two days, that's amazing and horrifying. 
Have you any reliable friends in the West End who might assist me? Unfortunately, you will be alone. Except for our ravishing red-headed acquaintance, of course. What of my commission here at Pembroke Hospital? Nothing to fear, Jonathan. Your position here is in no jeopardy. You remain one of us, and you are always most welcome. What about the Brotherhood of St. Paul Stone? Where are they? There are only a few of us, and most others would not speak to you. I am the black sheep of our brotherly flock, you know. Really? Why? First thing I want to do is take care of medicine as much as possible, so I'm going to head to Whitechapel and do that for the people there. But first, on the way to Whitechapel, we have an exclamation mark. Let's see what that's about. Pippa, Pippa Hawkins. Oh. So they ran away, but they're still in the area. It's so interesting how these people come back to haunt you, sort of. Okay, that hurt. That hurt a lot. They're level 27. Stop burning me. You see what just happened? They went down. I knocked them down, but I couldn't feed from them. Why? I never refilled my ammo for the shotgun. I do still have the pistol, of course. Maybe I should use that. Yeah, let's do it. This is dangerous. I could use a, like a I could use a blood serum. I have a light blood serum, actually. Let's use that. Where did they come from? What the hell? Did they spawn because I took out Pippa? Like they were just waiting to spawn? small key. Once again, I have to wonder, what is that for? Pippa Hawkins, Pippa Hawkins. I mean, it'd have to be something in the hospital, right? But what's locked in the hospital? I have no idea. I'll just have to explore around there next time I'm there, I guess. Which, as I'm sure you know, in reality means I'll forget and never do it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So that was, yeah, that was the exclamation mark. It really is an interesting system. Right? Like, you make an enemy of people. And then they come back and try to kill you. Like Pippa ended up 
on the streets as I mean they look like a guard of Pruin. Did they did they join the guard of Pruin? They acted exactly like them. Alright, to Whitechapel. Look who I found in Whitechapel. Good evening, Joshua. Wang Shanghao, Dr. Reed. It's good to see you again. How is the sanitary situation evolving in Whitechapel these days? My only relief is that my Matthew died before seeing the madness that approaches. I'm afraid we won't survive this trial, Dr. Reed. What are you doing with your time? Now that you're back in Whitechapel. I've decided to help the poor and sick of the neighborhood by handing out medicine. That's very charitable of you. But why do it at night? I've noticed that the most desperate people tend to go out after dark. Hence my presence. To help them when I can. Why don't you move to a better neighborhood? I thought about it, I confess. To go back to the same empty home every day still hurts me a lot. Why stay here then? I am a woman of habit, Dr. Reed. And for now I am happier being useful in a familiar place than I would be anywhere else. How do you feel now that you're back in Whitechapel? I've decided to follow your advice, sir. I won't forget the dead, but my efforts will be for the living. Do be careful. These streets can be as dangerous as that terrible place where we first met. That's true. And maybe it's the best reason to help people around here. Hint failed. Huh. Goodbye for now. I just spent a bunch of money on good handle parts for weapons and all sorts of different things. Uh, from, I think it's Barrett Lewis, the asshole shopkeeper in Whitechapel. And now, I can make a remarkable hacksaw. From a good hacksaw to remarkable. Makes three good handle parts, they're really expensive. It's gonna increase the damage by a lot, from 114 to 156. And there's only one specialization to get. Absorb 2.5 blood points when the weapon hits. Let's see if we can do anything else. What about our Pruin stake? Can we do that? Yes, we can do that too. Oh man, so from 28 stun to 33. And what are our choices? More stun or decreased stamina consumption? Um, hmm, so that decreases stamina by 3.5. Eh, I think the stun's more important. And what about our shotgun? Oh, it's already level 4. I don't think we can get to level 5. Nope, we need 6 good trigger parts. Right, we also need to turn in the uh, Lost Disciple quest to Tobi Tobias Whitaker, the person that I want to eat, but I still can't. Freaking level 5! So high, but worth so much. I have found Samuel, your disciple. I am afraid I have bad news. I already expected the worst. He should already have come back. He is dead, isn't he? Yes. He is now. The epidemic took him. Samuel steadily made donations to our cause. He would have rewarded you himself if you'd found me in that awful cemetery. Please accept this money. Steadily made donations to the church. Yes. Yes, he did. If you remember, those donations were made by grave digging. They dug up graves from the cemetery to find the money to donate to the church. Why did you send Samuel to the cemetery, Tobias? What did you see there? I sent him on a vision. A dream of a dreadful and laughing queen covered with blood, sleeping with the dead and feeding on the fear of the dying. A laughing queen? dressed in blood. Tell me more. This epidemic is her feast, the announcement of her return. Against her, science is no more than a child's toy. But who is she? She is the mother of harlots and abomination of the earth. Uh, okay, yeah, cool. 
There might be like a tiny bit of truth to some of that, but then it just turned into gibberish. Why did I... Oh, that just ends the conversation outright. Good evening. It's Your disciple, Samuel, stole from the dead in Stonebridge Cemetery. I have proof of his crime and proof of his death. No! Samuel was the best of us. So devoted, so zealous. He gave all he had for the cause. He tirelessly preached the good word. It's true. Gave all he had. And all dead people had. He defiled the dead with his petty thefts. That's how he financed your misguided crusade. Think what you will. When this city is saved, he will be praised for his devoted fortitude. He walked boldly into the mouth of abomination. Your precious Samuel used you. He was an immoral crook. <sighs> if that's true, then he will be my burden to bear during this endless night. Tobias Whitaker, confess why you burnt those people alive. I have done what no one was ready to do. Wait, what? I will smite the flesh of the unclean to protect the righteous. Wait, I'm sorry, the... Hmm? Is this something that we learned about a long time ago? They burned who alive? I don't remember that at all, but I guess add it to the list of their shittiness. You are just another heartless murderer, exploiting the epidemic to kill with impunity. No! No. The only way to contain the spread is to strike at the source itself. The proliferating sick. You're not the savior of London. You're just a glorified sadist. I take no pleasure in this awful cleansing, Dr. Reed. I am only driven by the thousands of innocents I save each night. God, I can't wait to kill them. Tell me the reason why you despise Joseph Larrabee so much, Tobias. A faithless shepherd is the worst criminal, for he leads his flock to the abyss by disregarding the right path. God smote this man, for he doubted. I only met him briefly, but he seemed a dedicated man who tried to provide guidance. Do you not believe in punishment, my son? I am not talking about the law of men. I am talking about judgment from heaven. I believe that we are, as men, our own judges, juries, and executioners. Armageddon is upon us, Dr. Reed. Okay, okay. I have had enough. I definitely have had enough for tonight. <laughs> This is my turn. You are ah! the vampires are so ah! weak. Wait, what the? Wait, 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 wait. You cannot win this. Ah! Let me just pause for a second. Uh, before I get to what I'm just fighting, I'm, I'm just giving medicine to everybody in Whitechapel. I've done it for everybody except for uh, what's their name? Mason Swanbro. They have neuralgia. They're doing really poorly. I vaguely remember finding them but I went through the whole of Whitechapel and couldn't find them like two or three sweeps through the town. So I looked at their location online, found out that they're actually sort of what I would consider outside of Whitechapel, but I guess it's technically in it. Uh, I think they're right here. So I started heading there and well, there's some enemies here and I, I, I thought they were just skulls, but then I noticed, wait, aren't they wearing a suit or something? And actually they're Ekons. They're Vampires. Full-on vampires, well-dressed, and one of them just taunted me saying, you London vampires are so weak. So who the hell are these people and why are they here? Oh, 
Oh god. Oh, that's nasty. Fascinating enemy. Oh my god, one of them dropped a good trigger part. That's really good loot. That costs a lot of money. Another good trigger part. Holy crap. Alright, they have amazing loot. But yes, why are they here? I would really like to know why they're here. Are they Ascalon people? They must be related to why Lady Ashbury wants to talk with us. I don't think we've actually ever spoken with Mason Swanboro before because I think... To, to talk with them, we can't talk Wondering with them at the... in this part of town at night, you're either brave or a fool. You can't talk with them at the door, you have to convince them to let you in, and I think last time I was here, I didn't have the mesmerized level to convince them. So what is the name of my nocturnal visitor? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. As I already explained to you, I'm inquiring about the epidemic. Dr. Reed? The eminent surgeon? My god! I'd never have expected a brilliant physician like you to knock on my door. You flatter me, sir. No, sir, I am flattered. I read all your work when I still had my sight. I loved it. I'm Mason Swanborough, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, Mesmerize level 3. Uh, yeah, they're doing really poorly. Let's give them the treatment right now. You seem unwell. Actually, yes, thank you. And what else have you learned about me, Mr. Swanborough? I know you assisted Professor Carell in France, and that you invented a new blood transfusion method based on his work. Yes. Those were frustrating but exciting days. I loved it. Yes, the thrill of research and discovery. This is what drives people like us, Dr. Reed. Oh, how I envy you. Does someone take care of you in this isolated place? My sister Loretta and I have our daily routine. Every morning and evening she comes by so we can talk and eat. Then she leaves and I stay. Do you not appreciate your sister's visit? Loretta is the best and worst thing that happened to me. And I believe she could say the same thing about me. Where does your sister go? Well, let's just say... She earns enough money for us both. What's so amusing about that? I won't hide the truth from you. Loretta sells a fake miracle elixir to the sick people of Whitechapel. Ironically, by the way, Loretta Swanborough was one of the people that I had to give medicine to. So apparently their own <laughs> obviously fake elixir doesn't work on themselves. Oh, I think that's it for them so far. Probably have to go speak with her sister and then come back if I want more hints. How is the sanitary situation evolving in Whitechapel these days? I hear them hissing and scratching at my door every night. The sick made mad by the fever. But these walls are thick and my lock is solid. Goodbye, Mr. Swanborough. I'll leave you now. Hi there. I just said my territory and just like jumped out when I left this place. Were they waiting for me? Gotcha. Good trigger part. Right. Well, the only people to give medicine left is people at the docks, but I think going to the mansion and going to the docks, I, I think I have to go all the way around, so I'm going to do the main mansion for now, and then I'll hit up the docks later. And yes, I know that I have almost 13,000 XP, which is a lot, but I don't want to sleep until I've given everybody as much medicine as possible. So let's start to head here. I've tried to get to this area through here, but
but this is a locked door. So I'm hoping this will be unlockable. Also, there's a large beast down here. Let's see, gun and shadow. So let's do shadow. Didn't mean to have that. Please be unlockable, please be unlockable. No! It's locked, all right. you are. This is no time for petty quarrels, my champion. Can you not hear? The famished queen has awoken. I am not your champion. But of course you are, son. As surely as you are the blood of my blood. I had to kill Mary. I have known your pain, child. Do not succumb to Silence! I dismiss you, now! The land calls for a champion. All and everyone needs you. Silence! I'm tired of all these puppet shows. Well, that's a pretty clear indication that this is the right way to go to get to the mansion. Yeah, it's these two doors here that have always been closed. Now, they're open. I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to head to Lady Ashbury's mansion.